Meanwhile, South Africa's energy minister announced on Friday that the country will postpone the announcement of the procurement process for a nuclear power station to allow for additional consultations. This decision comes in response to legal challenges and is part of the ongoing efforts to enhance the efficiency of the power sector in Africa's most industrialized economy. Despite facing persistent issues with rolling blackouts, South Africa has not experienced any power outages for over four months. In December, the government revealed its intentions to seek bids for an additional 2,500 megawatts of nuclear power. Minister Ramakhopa emphasized that will the government um, rather aims to expand its nuclear capacity beyond the existing Coburg plant near Cape Town, it will do so in a manner that is financially sustainable for the country. Energy expert Matthew Cruz weighs in on the matter. The electricity minister today confirmed that the procurement process for 2,500 megawatts worth of nuclear will be reset and redone underneath the government of national unity. This will result in a delay of between three to six months of the procurement of nuclear energy for South Africa. This comes as a application was made by the DA and two NGOs that had challenged the public procurement process that was taking place in order to reach the conclusion of the um, 2,500, 2,500 megawatts of nuclear power going out on tender. So, what basically is going to happen is they're going to now perform that process again within the government and national unity, which in my opinion is a good step and will assist with confidence regarding the determination that results from this process. Uh, it does mean, however, that the nuclear power coming online, which was already scheduled to be online in eight, month, eight years to ten years, will be further delayed. So now it'll be 10 and a half years or eight and a half years that will actually get some megawatts onto the grid of nuclear power. When it does come online, the nuclear power, the coal power fleets would have been reduced by around a third already as we have plans in the country to reduce our reliance on coal. So it'll be a welcome addition at the time of a low carbon energy source and also will reduce the price of electricity that is seeing to increase every year around 15 percent year on year with escom already having applied for 44 percent increase next year this means that until we get to the point in 10 years time when nuclear comes online we can actually expect to see the price of electricity increasing by about 15 percent year on year over the next five years leading to doubling of the price of electricity and then an increase of about 12 percent from then onwards and this means that businesses are and households are encouraged to find alternative sources of electricity, specifically solar, in order to mitigate this new crisis that we're facing of the energy price crisis.